Musically, what's in a name? Especially for African musicians. Short answer is a lot. But what exactly is it? Your name can make or break you. For example, if your name is crude or considered thereabouts, there's a chance, well, there's every chance, you won't show up on most search engines for good reason. However, I don't want to go that deep, so let's get into a case study of one of my favorite artists from Lesotho who goes by the name Ntatestana, or you might know him as Megahertz. When I found out about Megahertz, it was through the song I'm Not The One, which gave me a wonderful view into Lesotho hip-hop. This goes back about four years, circa early 2018. However, he has been in the industry since 2014 with, uh, I think, Mojo being the single that started things for him. He's not only a rapper, he's a songwriter, a producer, and a cinematographer. So his grasp of the music side is multidimensional. He also has a record label called Peña Play. What makes his sound unique is that he mixes trap with Basuto accordion, which they call Koreana music in Lesotho, popularized in the 1920s through to the 1960s and beyond. And it's a very unique sound to them that he modernized. The reason why he's my subject for today is pretty simple. He made one small tweak to his image and that changed his musical career forever. Let me explain. But before I do that, if you like this content, there's a simple way to support Motomoto Moto Music Africa. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is how you help us grow and uh, reach more people. When I first came across him, Megahertz was already a big artist in Lesotho and the fans there loved him and they do embrace him big time. He wasn't huge outside the Lesotho borders and understandably so. Lesotho is a small landlocked country of about 2 million people. It's fully encircled by South Africa, by the way. It's hard enough to branch out musically in that sense, and the next stage to shine would be moving from Lesotho to South Africa, probably. No easy feat. Anyway, I followed Megahertz fairly closely in 2018 into 2019 because he was one of the few artists from there that was doing more engaging and uploading of content online, besides the fact that he's really good. I was doing the Motomoto Moto podcast then, and so it made my job much easier to follow and promote musicians um, that I could see and get updates on quite easily. As it were, 2019 was the year Megahertz's career would make a huge turn. And I reckon I know why. For starters, the man basically has been between South Africa and Lesotho over the last couple of years, but the exposure he gained being in South Africa made him up his game. Seeing how competitive that musical market is, he had done everything he could do in Lesotho by that point, including headlining the Maletsunyane uh, Braai Fest, which is one of the hugest festivals you're going to get in Southern Africa. He dropped one of his most creative and catchy promo videos we've seen in a while in 2019. This was to promote his then upcoming album called Sesutu Fashioning, which I did a review for, by the way, and do check it out. This freestyle is the one that got other countries listening. It dropped October 24, 2019 and went viral. To date, it has over 660,000 views on Twitter alone, over 367,000 views on Facebook, and over 32,000 views on Instagram, and a few thousand views more on YouTube. This is over a million views combined. Now, you might be wondering, so what is the thing that he did? Well... The freestyle was hot. I don't understand a lick of Sesutu, but I vibed to it like many others. The visual delivery was impeccable and wow. He formally introduced himself as Ntatestan. I say that because if you analyze the lyrics, it was as if he was performing as his alter ego. Those that know Megahertz from before already know that he is Ntatestana. However, 
That formal introduction on a viral promo video got the tongues wagging because the question was, who is Ntatistana? For those that didn't know him at least. They didn't know of megahertz, but they knew Ntatistana. The virality of this promo video, I believe kind of forced him and his team to consider actually using Ntatistana as his formal artist name. This was the masterstroke. Let me explain why. It elevated his SEO positioning online, and I mean search engine optimization. And what I mean by that is his searchability went up by changing his name or at least using Tatistana moving forward. I've got a fantastic way to illustrate this for you. Here on Google, if I was looking for his songs and typed in megahertz, this is what comes up. Another band altogether and some other nonsense I'm not even remotely interested in. However, if I type in Tatistana, before I even finish typing the name, he comes up on Google's suggested searches as the top search. That is searchability. Let's try YouTube, shall we? If I type in megahertz, none of these songs show up high on my search and this is even worse if I use incognito mode. The only reason this one song shows up is because YouTube knows that I've been searching his music anyway. However, going on to searching for Ntatestana, again, just like Google, before I even finish typing it, guess who shows up as the top result and every single search thereafter. It shows anything and everything associated with Ntatestana. This is how an artist wants to and should show up to have more hits from search. If somebody who's interested in your music and liked a snippet or whatever the case may be and so happened to catch your name and they want to find more music from you, you want to make it as easy as possible for them to find it. That is exactly why the rebrand from Megahertz to Ntatestana proved to be the genius move to capitalize on the virality of one promo video. I even asked him if the name Tatistana came up after the fact, and no, he was always known as Megahertz, aka Tatistana. His words. Now, Tatistana even later changed his social media handles from Megahertz underscore LS to Tatistana, as you can see here. He was Megahertz underscore LS on Twitter. And he did this in early 2020 after the release of his album Sesutu Fashioning and his artist page on Sp Spotify is now that, Ntatistana, and pretty much everywhere else. Makes a world of difference. I do admit, Megahertz is a brilliant rap name. However, Ntatistana is not only a brilliant name that is easy to remember and original, it is also super unique which means finding him online is pretty easy. That, in a nutshell, shows you what the difference between one name and another could be for an artist. So when coming up with an artist name, the name matters, like for real. Or before you blow up, if you see you've got a name that's a bit like common and everybody's got it or whatever the case may be, you might want to consider changing it, maybe, maybe, so that your searchability is, you know, high up there, you are more visible. Now, on Tatistana's YouTube for his record label, Ping and Play, you can see the older material is listed as megahertz. Fair enough. But the newer material after October, November 2019 is Tatistana. And did he reap the rewards after releasing the video for the single, Kitata, which is almost at 1 million views on YouTube? They do say the devil is in the detail. So, Kudos to Ntatistana for seeing the gap and making the change because it was absolutely genius. Anyway, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Moto Moto Music Africa channel, please. And if you do like what I do right here, head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash MJ Omoto and buy me a coffee or two or three. Peace, Dende.